It's the best that it has been in a long time. I'm living my best life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working on a lot of different things. We're going to be working on my office, also heading over to Kyle's office and getting some things done in there. And then we also have a lot of other projects just around the house to get done. But before we jump into all of that, I wanna say a huge thank you to Adapted Mind for teaming up with me on today's video because this portion of this video is sponsored by Adapted Mind. Adapted Mind offers a K-6 curriculum to help young students with math and reading, but they share it in a way that's fun for kids to learn. Kyle and I were really excited to learn about them because especially with doing online school last year, I feel like our boys have fallen a bit behind in those areas and we've been working hard to play catch up this year. And of course, we want to do everything that we can to get them where they need to be in math and reading, but we are definitely not teachers and that's where Adapted Mind comes in. They have teachers working hand in hand with game designers to make sure that the problems and videos are not only educational, but also interactive and keeps the kids engaged in learning. By doing this, they've managed to figure out how to make math fun and interesting, and they also have algorithms that adjust the learning difficulty to suit each individual child. And since the program keeps kids independently engaged, you can easily fit it into any busy schedule. Adapted Mind also offers social studies, science, and super skills growth like mindset and focus, so that way they can make screen time more productive. And if you have multiple kids, you can have up to five children on your account, so if you're interested in trying out Adapted Mind for your kids, you can get a 30-day free trial at AdaptedMind.com, which I will have linked down below for you. And thank you again to Adapted Mind for sponsoring that part of today's video. Now back to my regular content. Put your hand in my hand, darling, say go. Keep your eyes on the horizon, stay gold. All I need are your eyes, you're my hand. Okay, so some of the projects that we want to get done in here. First, we're gonna start with cleaning up, of course, because it's a mess. Also, this is just another little quick overview of the new paint. This back wall is evergreen fog, and then the main walls are pale oak. And then we do have these lights. I'm gonna kind of show you guys. So when you walk in, you kind of see that. And this front one actually blocks the back light. We're gonna actually switch these two. So this bottom one will be on this side, and then the middle one will actually go to the other side. So it'll be like low, medium, high. And then you can actually see all three of them. It'll be more like, let's see if I can show you you guys it'll be more like this look when you walk in i'm super excited i love how the lights turned out anyway one of the big projects we we're gonna do is actually put a shelf right here originally i had a calendar it just ended up being something that i didn't use as much as i thought i would i think because i have the desk right here it's just like kind of hard to get to and i end up using my planner a lot anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and put a shelf up there and then we also have to kind of like put things back in order in here including putting my canvases up and seeing how those look with the green wall but it's gonna be good to just like continue on with all the different house projects once we're done in here we're going to move on to Kyle's office. I wanna hear you say yeah. So I wanted to show you all those shots of my office with the new light fixtures and paint because when I shared them in one of my last videos, it was dark outside and you know how different things look in different lighting, but I really love how everything turned out. I was definitely second guessing our paint choices for the longest time because it is just so different than anything we've ever done, but it all just came together so well and I just could not be happier with it. But anyway, here I am just tidying up everything. I wonder sometimes 
friends, if there will ever be a day where my office does not get messy like this, it honestly kind of feels unlikely at this point. But if you work from home as well and you have some tips on keeping your workspace tidy and organized, definitely help me out with some tips and ideas. I would really, really love that. I don't know what happened to my fiddle leaf tree. It was perfect for like months. And then it just started dropping leaves like crazy. And the leaves it still does have look so rough now. It makes me so bummed and I just wish that I knew what had happened to it. So it's been a couple of weeks now since we had everything painted, but somehow we are still finding dust from having to move everything around, all the furniture and everything. And then also some of the things got paint sprayer dust and all that mess has just been reminding me that spring cleaning is right around the corner. So if you have been struggling on finding motivation to get going on spring cleaning like I have been, stay tuned because there will be lots and lots of motivation coming your way in the coming weeks. I'm actually debating right now whether I should film a couple of super long spring cleaning videos or do several shorter ones that are kind of more focused on one or two rooms at a time. So as always, any requests on that, let me know because I would love to just share the videos the way that you guys would like to watch them. Here we are just starting to put my desert pictures back up on the wall and we are of course hanging them with velcro command strips. These little guys are amazing because you don't have to put holes in your wall and you don't damage your walls at all and they really can hold quite a lot of weight. Talking, 
Okay, we got the pictures put up. I love these pictures. I was hoping that like with the red rock and everything, it wouldn't clash against the green, but I love that. I feel like the green on the wall actually really matches in with this green and it pulls it out a little bit. So I think it looks really good. It's definitely a different feel, but I love it. So now we are going to put up a new wall shelf right here. Not today, but we're going to be adding in two wood shelves in there. Possibly doing like just like a little wood shelf on the bottom. Since this is so light, it'll just add a little bit more warmth in that space. So that's not happening today, but this is. So let's start working on the shelf. Nothing's gonna stop me now. We, we've talked about this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me... No, I can tell you. Just look at it and see. You didn't even read the instructions? You can see it from the picture. Amanda, Obviously, that this is why... Holes. Okay. And then these two are the same. And then this one... Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Did you put the screws in? No, not yet. 3.8 centimeters. Actually, it does look like a job. This is a nightmare. This might be a toothpaste job. So you guys hear that? This is backwards incorrect as well. Yeah. 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 This needs to go like that, right? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Start I'm just saying, you're not doing what I did. You can't just start you slapping could, things together. Oh yeah, it says three right on here. So we got the shelf up. You can see the L brackets. Technically, they were saying to make them like hidden behind the shelf, but it just would have been a whole thing. I'm actually gonna go through with a little paintbrush and just paint these the same as the wall color. I don't think you're really gonna notice it. Plus it'll be decorated. Your eye's not really gonna be drawn to there. But this way we were able to get it like perfectly level everywhere and just really secure in the wall. So we're gonna paint that real quick and then I'll show you kind of how we're gonna style it. This is my claim to fame. It is. <laughs> How good can you shake it? Oh, I can shake it. <laughs> brighter. I wanna burn a little bit brighter. I wanna stand a little bit taller. Got my head in the clouds. I'm lost in the sound. I won't look back, no, I'll stare down the sun Gonna stand my ground till the good days come Got my feet on the ground, sure. 
So for this new shelving unit, I am just using decor pieces that I already had on hand and I'm just kind of playing around with different heights and colors and textures and just doing that until everything looks right. Although styling a shelf can take a little bit of time and also be a little bit intimidating, it always seems to turn out if you just stick to it long enough, try a bunch of different things and keep going until you love it. Definitely don't stop moving things around until they look just right to you. If you've seen my other videos, you guys know that's always how I do it. It's not like I try it once and I love it. It's like a trial and error forever and then eventually it all turns out. Finally got the shelf up and styled. I love how it looks. I feel like it's fairly substantial and so it just kind of fills out this wall really nicely. Otherwise we just had like that big whiteboard if you remember my office makeover. Like I said, I thought I would use it more and I just didn't. So hopefully we can just find another spot for that. But I love how the shelf turned out. And of course getting these prints back up on the wall just made a huge difference. So it makes me really happy to have like more of my office done. But now we are going to come into Kyle's office. Of course, it's a little bit of a mess. So we're gonna quickly tidy this up and then we're going to add shelving that's going to go almost up to the window and kind of come down. It almost like it looks like it's coming out of the wall. And on this side, I think I'm gonna add a clock. We do have a plan for this wall, but that's not gonna happen today. So we're getting like, you know, little bits and pieces here and there, but every little step, it just makes everything feel more and more like our home and just like our style. So let's get to it. So clearly, Kyle's office struggles with staying tidy just like mine does. Thankfully, neither space takes too long to get back into shape, but I cannot wait for you to see this next transformation that we're about to do. So get a good look at the office before right now because it is going to be one of those small changes that makes such a drastic difference. Are going different places, moving on 
Also, I always get comments on both Kyle's and my desks because they are both in the middle of our offices. So the cords kind of go across the top of the carpets at the moment. We do have plans to fix that and we've been wanting to do that for a while, but it's just kind of been lower on our priority list. But Kyle is actually going to be drilling a hole in our desks to put the cords right down through them and kind of have them run along the legs of the desk. And then we're actually going to cut a little slit into the rugs and have them run underneath the rug. And that way it'll be a lot more seamless. It'll definitely look a lot nicer and it also won't be a tripping hazard or anything. I love this bookshelf. It's super sturdy. It totally fits Kyle's office and style and it was super easy to put together which is always a plus. It kind of reminds me of the one that we had in Kyle's office makeover in Utah except that this one is a little bit taller and also it attaches to the wall but I just could not believe how well this fit into his office in every way. Once we got the bookshelf attached to the wall, I started styling the shelves with a mixture of decor to kind of help pull the space together, as well as functional pieces, and of course, his favorite plant, Cadbury. little project that we weren't really planning on doing. Kyle's printer like almost, almost fits in there, but it's like maybe an inch too deep. He's actually going to just kind of mark where on the printer it's sticking out and he's just gonna cut the very back part of that. It'll kind of stick out the back just barely and it's already pulled away from the wall anyway so I don't think we'll really notice it but that way it'll be tucked in it won't be like an eyesore and it'll just be functional because it'll be right there by his desk whenever he needs it so that is next on the list but the bookshelf is all done and I think it turned out really good and it totally fits his office. All right, little quick little hiccup. 
his drill cutter thing is out of battery so we have to charge that real quick but while we're waiting on that we're gonna go ahead and hang up a clock that i got for him we're gonna go ahead and put up the clock real quick and then probably start working on his sideboard and then we can actually get the printer put away all right we are going to use our handy dandy toothpaste we're just gonna stick a little dab of it right at the top and then when kyle like gets it where we want it he can just push it in and that will show us exactly where we are going to put our monkey hook toothpaste hack two for the win paste me baby <laughs> this is amazing because you guys know kyle hates the toothpaste hack. i really See, this is imprecise Not his though. Favorite. This one's imprecise though. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I just gotta know about where to put a monkey hook. The other one's like when I'm trying to be super accurate. Okay, you ready? I'm so happy we finally got the printer into the sideboard cabinet. I've wanted to do this for quite some time, but it just didn't end up happening until now. But I really wanted to get it tucked away somewhere very easily accessible because we do access it quite often. But I wanted to try to not have it out in the open because it is fairly bulky. And this little creative solution worked out so well. So once we got the printer all sorted out, we started adding in any last decor pieces to complete his office. So quick question, I wanted to get y'all's opinion on something. On the wall off to the right in his office, I have a big canvas. You might remember it up on his office in previous videos, but whenever we had it up, we knew that it just needed to be a larger item to kind of fill out the space better because that wall is so big. So we were planning to put wood boards behind it kind of as a frame, but now I cannot decide if we should just leave that wall bare or if we should add the wood and canvas as we were planning. So now that you're seeing all of the shots of this room let me know your thoughts i would love to hear any ideas you have or just kind of which way you think would look better to love again Hey guys, so it is a new day. We couldn't finish everything that we had planned. So we just got Kyle's office and my office done. Of course we had football and it was getting late and it was just a whole thing. Here we are today. We are ready to start tackling things again. Mostly we're gonna be in like our kitchen. Actually, mostly we're gonna be in the dining room. I'm gonna try to convince Kyle to hang a different pendant. We have a different one. Um, leftover from another project. I also want to add curtains in the dining room. I'm debating whether we should do curtains on both, but I'll kind of get into that later. And then I also really 
want to share our kitchen plans. Right now it pretty much looks the same. We did get the walls painted so they are no longer green. They're just the pale oak color, but we do want to kind of refresh our kitchen and do a little bit of that. So I'm gonna share those kitchen plans. But first we're going to be adding the curtain. And so we are going to be doing the regular way that we do that, which is with like a long steel pipe or whatever kind of metal pipe it is. So we have to go ahead and cut that, paint that and let that dry. So we're gonna do that first. And then while that's drying, I think we're gonna come in here and tidy up because as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. And then we'll start in on all the rest of the projects and the kitchen update. So slight change of plans. We measured the window and we measured the, the pipe. Wall. Window to the wall. <laughs> like what is that, 90s? From the window to the wall. 90s kids coming out. Anyway, this pipe, we were gonna cut it down, but we kind of wish it was a little bit longer. So you're not gonna cut it at all, which will actually make everything a little bit easier. We do still wanna paint it and I'll show you why. As you can see, like it's all scratched up. Like this is just kind of how these pipes go. Um, and then there's stickers. Even if we peel this off, like there will be little residue and stuff. And then there's also a little writing on it and everything. Oh, literally we didn't have to measure it one by 10. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and paint that a matte black color. It will look really, really pretty. But today we're just gonna pull out some canvases and get that all painted. And while that's drying, we'll start working inside. Okay, now that that is all painted and drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start <laughs> tidying everything up. Our cats are actually at the vet right now, and so Kyle's running to go pick them up, and then I'll just work on this until he gets back. These are some cute pictures that Noah painted for me because he knows I love cactus and I love this little phase that he's been in where he has just been painting and drawing all the time. I feel like he's been in this stage for the past several months so I'm always kind of picking our favorites and pulling them aside so I can keep them safe and store them away for a later day.
don't know about you guys, but there are some chores that I can totally just zone out on. Cleaning the kitchen is totally a chore like that for me. And then on the other hand, there are chores like putting away laundry, where I'm basically very aware that I'm doing laundry the entire time. There's no zoning out on laundry for me. I don't even know if that really makes sense, but I just never mind cleaning the kitchen because it never seems like a struggle because I can just focus on other things while I tidy. I can be thinking about something else. I can be listening to music, whatever it is. And before I know it, I'm done. But let me know, do you have any chores like that? Or does that not even make sense what I'm saying? I don't know. I just love like the little zoning out chores. So fun chatting with you guys in the comments and just hearing different things that you guys do and recently I've gotten some questions about like why we keep our fruit out on our counters and it just never really occurred to me to keep every single fruit in our fridge so a lot of times we keep some of our fruit on the counters and then certain ones we'll keep in the fridge and the reason that I keep a lot on our counters is actually just to encourage like healthy snacking. And that way fresh fruit is just right on the counter, easily accessible, easy to see and remember. And it just kind of encourages us to go for things like that versus a bag of chips like hidden away in the pantry or something. And so that's really why I do like to keep fresh fruit out on the counter. But let me know what you guys do. Do you keep your fruit in the fridge or do you keep it out on the counter? Do you do kind of a little bit of both like we do? This is one of those things that like really isn't that important, but it's just kind of fun to see what different people do and why. So here Kyle is just bringing this little table back in the house from the patio. We actually brought it outside while the painters were here a few weeks ago and we have just never brought it back inside. It's actually been really handy to have it outside because the weather has been warming up and back when my family was here we were spending a lot more time outside and everything. And so it was just kind of fun to keep it out there, but it is definitely nice just getting everything slowly back together now that the paint is done and now that like a lot of these bigger projects are either getting completed or already finished. So that is feeling very, very nice.
so now that everything is nice and tidy, it's not perfectly clean, but it's much better than it was. I wanted to show you guys or kind of talk to you guys about our plans for the kitchen because now that we have lighting done and paint other than like the bathrooms and the game room upstairs and things like that that we're gonna do ourselves. The main part of the house is all painted and so now that we have that done, I wanted to tell you guys our game plan for the kitchen. I don't know exactly how it's gonna work with timing, if it'll be in the next couple months, I'm hoping, but we just have to kind of see when we can get people here and how it fits into the budget and everything. But I'm gonna turn you around and show you guys what we're gonna do. So first thing we are going to be doing is actually fixing or like restoring maybe our cabinets. They are original to the house and so like they pretty much, none of them close all the way. Some are worse than others. Kyle's actually fixed a lot of them because like when we moved in, like this one, he'll need to fix that. But like they were all kind of like that, just, you know, not <laughs> really aligned. And then also we have spots like this. I'm not totally sure what to do. I'm thinking maybe we'll need to sand this down and then we can paint over that. If you guys have any tips on this, let me know. It's also the same over here by the trash can. I think it's just cause that's like where the trash cans probably always hit this area. I'm guessing the people who lived here before put their trash can here as well. Cause this is kind of how it looked. We are going to get the cabinets kind of restored, get the hinges redone a little bit just so they're nice and smooth. We had talked a little bit about possibly like changing out the fronts of the cabinets because that's obviously gonna be a lot more affordable than putting new cabinets in. And these cabinets are in pretty good shape, just really it's the fronts of them that are a little bit struggling right now. But I think that we can probably just get them a little bit restored and that will be even more of a cost saver. Um, and then also we are going to be painting all the cabinets over on the built-ins. We had those painted and they turned out so, so well. So we're gonna have the same same company come paint our cabinets. We've done DIY cabinets in the past. They just did such a good job. I think we're gonna go ahead and go with them again. This is where I'm not 100% sure, but I think we're just gonna do like some nice white cabinets. I know it looks like they're white, but they are actually like a yellowy cream. I'll try to get some shots so you guys can see what they're truly looking like. So like maybe that's pretty close, but they're more, they're much more yellow actually than this is showing them. Okay, hopefully this will show, but this is a piece of paper. So this is like true white, and I feel like still they're looking more cream, but they have like such a yellow tone to them. Ugh, sometimes the camera lighting is too good <laughs> to show truly how it is. But anyway, and you can see like, there's just a lot of wear like this on them. And so we're gonna get them repainted and we're going to paint all of like the outer edge cabinets, white, kind of like we had in our Utah house. And then the island, we're gonna do a lot to this island. We're going to cut it down to be a single level, just like we had in our Utah home. I feel like it's so much more functional and practical for us. I actually don't really like the two-tier island. I feel like then you're missing out on all this prep space. In Utah, I would use like both sides of the sink as my prep space and it was so so nice we are going to get some different countertops these again look like they're in really good shape on video and they just aren't in like the best shape they are original to the house and so hopefully we can when we take these out we can get them donated to somewhere but we are going to try to lighten the countertops and do something again kind of like our utah home and then once we level it out and get the countertop done we are also going to paint the island the same color as like the built-ins and the accent walls and Kyle's in my office, which is evergreen fog. So I think that'll be really nice just to kind of break it up. Everything will have the same countertops, but then, like I said, it'll be white cabinets on the outers and then the island will all be the evergreen fog. And I think it'll look so pretty and it'll be so like much more inviting this way to have everything lower and at one level. Oh, and then I'm also going to get a single basin sink in here. Our last two homes, originally we had the, the double basin. So we've changed them out to the single basin sink. And we just, again, feel like they're so much more functional for us. So we're gonna do the same thing here. I think that's mostly it. I'm thinking we're probably gonna keep the hardware because we actually like this hardware pretty well. Ovens work good. The microwave does not work great. And I've complained about this to you guys before, but the stove also isn't in best in order. I'm pretty sure it's original to the house, so it's probably like 16 years old or so. It's just seen better days. So I think we're gonna get those changed out, but the rest of the plans
finances are okay. Oh, and then also, sorry, I feel like there's always a list. We're also going to, when we put the new countertops in, we are not going to have this little piece right here where it just kind of builds the countertop up. We are just gonna have them go straight to the wall and end it there. And then Kyle and I, mostly Kyle, <laughs> will be putting in the backsplash ourselves. We've done that in two of our homes and it turned out really good. So we're not really sure exactly what style backsplash will do. That will be something else we'll add. So once we're done, I feel like our kitchen will just look so, so different and I cannot wait until it like is just brighter and more contrasting in ways that we like and just, again, feel more like us. But anyway, that's the plan for our kitchen. Now that I've shared all of that with you guys, we are going to head out, make sure that the pipe is all nice and dry, and then go ahead and add in the curtain rod and curtains. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Today, we are just adding curtains on this big window. Again, it's like nothing in this house is, what's the word? Like nothing in this house is, oh, symmetrical. Oh, symmetrical. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like our built-ins, that's not symmetrical. The sink isn't in the middle of the island. It's like off to one side. I don't know, like so the window, that's not symmetrical on that wall, so I might end up adding like a hanging plant or something there, I'm not really sure. But anyway, <laughs> it's just funny, it's like so silly. There's everything I feel like in this house is just uh, not symmetrical. Okay, anyway, we're gonna add curtains on the window in the dining room, just right here. But we do have a screen door. We actually don't have neighbors that can see into our backyard or anything like from that way and so we're not really sure if we want to put curtains on the door or if we should just leave that as it is i think today we're going to leave it as it is but i would love to hear your guys' thoughts if you think it would look best having curtains on the door and the reason i'm not sure is just because it's so close so it would literally be like two sets of curtains and kind of bunched up in the corner and then on this side and this side none of them are really practical curtains they're all just going to be to kind of soften the room a little bit also bring your eye up purely like aesthetic and for looks but i do think curtains make a huge difference so let me know your opinion on that and then you're going to tackle the pendant. I'm hoping I can convince Kyle to change it out. I know we just changed his pendant out like not too long ago. Um, I know we can definitely find another spot for it like when we go to my sister's house or different makeovers that we have coming up but I just feel like it ended up being something that kind of like fades into the background. You don't really see it just because it's not like super substantial and so we do have an extra pendant from my office and we can't return it because it's been too long so I'm thinking to maybe put that one up. Kyle's unsure of it, but we'll see. And hopefully we can just change that out and try it because he's pretty handy and then we'll see. I've been trying hard to die upon my loose ends. I'd like to look at some options. <laughs> and if we can't find anything that's, you know, Working, then we'll put this up. Okay. All right. Does that sound like a good compromise? <sighs> it sounds like a compromise. I think it's a great compromise. It's a compromise, so. I could just say I hate it and I don't want it up. I'm not. I'm saying that. Uh, I'm saying it's not my first choice. I gave you your best chance, little light. <laughs> he said no. Go, little rock star. I would say, um, <laughs> I don't think that's a good compromise. It is a compromise. It's a good compromise. I would just say compromise, but it's okay. Okay, then what alternative <laughs> compromise do you have, dear? Um, my compromise would be like, I paint this one so it's black like you like, which I like, <laughs> and then we put this up. <laughs> So here we are just using two inch leather straps and then we are cutting it down to our desired length and then we are just pre-drilling the holes into the straps. Basically that will go right up to the ceiling and then we're able to slide the pipe that we painted earlier into that loop and voila, you have a modern DIY curtain rod. We have been doing this for, I don't even know, almost two years now probably. 
but we love these curtain rods. I feel like they fit into so many different decor styles. They're also really simple to do, as you can see, and they're also really sturdy, so I feel like these are ones that are going to just last and last and last. My mind, my mind. I'm always blown away by how big of a difference adding curtains make. I feel like every single time we go to add curtains, it's like I almost forget how big of a difference they make, even though we are always adding curtains in various rooms. But I'm almost thinking that we should add a curtain onto the patio door area, just like the one we put up today. My only hesitation is because they would be right next to each other, like literally right, right next to each other. But now that I'm kind of showing you the area a little bit better, let me know what you think down below. Anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the different house projects that we did. I feel like several of the projects today were kind of small, but at the same time, I feel like all of them made a pretty drastic impact, and I just cannot wait to continue to see all the changes that we continue to make and see our home just become more and more our style as time goes on. Like I shared in so many recent videos, we have several more home makeovers coming and a lot more house projects videos like this one. So if you guys love watching videos like that, definitely make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of those future videos. And I'm also going to put up a playlist right here so you can go ahead and check out all of our home makeovers and get caught up on all of it. Thank you so, so much for being here today and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the company. I hope you guys have an incredible day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.